It can be quite overwhelming searching the shroomery and all the forums for the best agar recipe. It seems like there's thousands out there. There's different levels of hardness. There's different concentrations. There's different recipes. What's the best agar recipe for your mushroom farm? We're gonna find out today. What's up, mushroom fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. We're at my farm in Sedalia, Colorado today, and I wanted to talk about agar. So we're gonna go through the ultimate agar experiment. Before we do that, make sure you check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi, for a selection of over 30 different mushroom strains and other mushroom products. Okay, so I've got five different agar recipes laid out. So I'll just get, go through them and the what they're comprised of. So the first one is this V9 agar. So it's a orangish color and it's made up of 14 grams of agar, one liter of V8 juice, and 20 grams of potato flakes. So then I have a uh, potato dextrose agar. This is a lab grade agar. So it's uh, 36.2 grams of the Criterion pre-mix lab grade PDA. Then next up is a food grade malt extract agar, so MEA. We've got 14 grams of agar 20 grams of malt extract, and that's food grade. Okay, so fourth, we have our wood pellet auger. So it's 14 grams of auger, 14 grams of potato, and six grams of dextrose, and about five or six hardwood pellets per liter. So I mix that all together, and you can see the even distribution of the wood inside the agar. And then last is our BCYA, or black charcoal yeast agar. So it's 14 grams of agar, six grams of charcoal, six grams of yeast, and six grams of dextrose. And it's a really nice black color.
What's up everyone? So it's been about 20 days since I started the auger experiment and we've got a commercial blue oyster on five different media types. And this is kind of my final conclusion. Um, I think that the malt extract auger looks the healthiest and it colonized the fastest, followed by this V9 auger. It's looking very healthy. Um, this one took a couple more days to colonize. And then some interesting uh, features. So this black charcoal yeast auger, it had some suspect contamination. And over the course of 20 days, it looks like it outgrew what it appeared to be some yeast. Um, I'm not going to use this plate, but it's definitely an interesting observation. The black charcoal is supposed to help mitigate the growth of other organisms, so it seemed pretty consistent. Then, when, I'm, when I look at the sawdust plate, you can uh, see these con concentric rings, and I think that one of the issues, which is the same as this V9 plate, it's kind of hard to see, but with these concentric rings that form, sometimes it's caused by temperature. But another factor that I haven't thought about ever is the homogeneity of the actual mix. So uh, the malt extract was very uh, homogeneous mixture and it appeared to have a much more even growth compared to the wood, which has little pockets of dense nutrients, as well as this uh, V9 auger that has uh, really dense pockets of nutrients as well. And then lastly on this list is the lab grade potato dextrose auger. So this is what I typically run my production plates on, which is maybe why it's starting to look a little bit slow and tomentose. So usually when uh, cultures get like this, I'll switch them over to something else like a V9 or uh, like a black charcoal and then the next round back into potato dextrose will be a little bit more typical what you would expect like this MEA plate. So this is the black charcoal yeast. We've got the sawdust auger the V9, then this is the malt extract, and the PDA lab grade. I think it's amazing that the same exact culture will show different signs on different medias. Uh, I recommend all of you guys to go out, do your own experiments like these, because it really could mean the difference between getting two pound flushes and barely making some pin sets. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, I can try to answer them in the, the description below. If you want any cultures, go check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi. And until next time, much love.